so I'm doing a Tidewell Crest Brookdale Litton Mill like a loop today. Um, I've just parked in Tidewell. There's a car park down here. It's obviously paid. Let's do that. Um, walking down the road there, I just found 50p. So that's my lucky 50p for the day. So I've saved on car park and got 50p as well. So once you get through the car park, there's a gate and the main footpath stays on the bottom near the river. But I turn slightly left and go up this hill. And I mean, it only brings you a bit further down there, but there's never anyone here. It's nice, I'll show you. Like I've just done a bit of research on this and it turns out it's elephant and monster pill. Just hope it's not a moon cow. So yeah, that little loop, it just goes up about 30 metres, across 100, and then back down. So you're yeah, only adding on to it, but it is nice. So yeah, if you don't want to do that extra little bit, it would have brought you out there about, probably about 10 minutes ago. So, feel free to cut that bit off from the bridge. Now this one's called Ravenstall. Well, that was disappointing. Ah. Let's see if I can get back over here. Easy, easy. So we've got another little cave. Wanna go in? In fact, it is only a little one. I think that's it. Oh, no, hold on. I'm going in. I need spiders in here. In fact, yeah, that is the end. So this is definitely like a one-size-fits-all walk because it's relatively flat. You follow the stream, the river, um, pretty much around. There's very few hills. And it's just, it's just nice. Like, it's just pretty. Um, and yeah, there's caves. The path's really good most of the way. There are wet bits as you get further down. Like there was last time anyway, like a detour, because the path sometimes does flood. Um, yeah, it's a nice one. So this is the path, the like alternate path, um, when this path floods, but obviously we haven't had enough rain yet, so we can stick on this one. So when I said the path's really nice um, on the foot, I didn't mean like where your sliders. It still gets quite muddy. Obviously everyone uses this as a toilet. Some morons. So we've got resident swan here. In a very muddy path. I feel like I'm seasoned a lot today. I reckon I've got bird flu. Can I catch bird flu? There. So if you're into climbing, a bit of a face there to scale. That was pretty mad to be fair. There's a couple trying to get up it now. It must be doable. So when you get to the end of the 
dale you come out the gates and you turn left and it brings you up this hill so it is a road but it's quiet so i've got to there so i've got two options i can either go up follow the main road or go down there and it says it's a dead end down there but it's been that long since i've done it i have actually no idea so i'm going to go this way because it's 50 50 and i've got to pick one um, but yeah, when I say I don't know where I'm going and I just wander off, it's genuine. I've just checked my OS maps and obviously there's no signal. So this is definitely winging it. But the odds are good, 50%. Anyway, if not, I'll just have to go back. I don't know, I'll get there, won't I? No drums. And I'll be honest, this doesn't look like anywhere I've ever been before. So um, I think I took the wrong path, but I'm gonna make it work. Hopefully I can get through here. Hopefully there's a footpath and I can link up to the one that I should have took. Fingers crossed. So just up there I had, oh, and then I went a cropper. Just up there I had like, two options. So I could have gone left or right. So left would have took me up to where I should have been. That three mile up that hill now, I think. Um, but I thought, well, I've gone wrong, so I might as well go a little bit more wrong. So I took the right path and it's brought me down here. And it's just, look how nice it is. Obviously, very quiet. Now, I did pass two people there. They say I'm the first person they've seen all day. So that's nice. Um, yeah, still no clue where I'm going, but I am enjoying it. So I've got so far down here and I can see a path up there, up to my left. And I think that's the way I want to go, so I am going to aim that way. Still got no 4Gs. So, yeah, I mean this looks nice. Don't know, that's the another little dale. So I'm now heading into the village of Lytton. Taking me to the houses now. Um, but I have got 4G now, so I can pick up where I'm going. But I think Tarzel is just the next village anyway, so I don't actually think it's that far. I just thought of the back beyond down there, but I'm not. So that is where I came out, that side of that farm, and I've just been for a walk into Lytton. Um, unintentionally, actually, I went the wrong way again. Um, but there is a pub, and there's an EP chap sat in the middle today judging my sense of direction. Um, it's all funny games. It's a nice little village, actually. Um, and it's only just down there, so it's worth a look. But yeah, I, out of that footpath, want to head right up this road. So that is the village of Lytton. Tideswell, somewhere over there. No horses, and I'm just about to walk into my first view of sheep. Is just look at the views, it's mild. So nice. So I just sat down on Litton Edge, and it was only like I'd say about 30 meters up. I don't even know, but not far. I thought it can't be that windy. <laughs> it's blew my cap off about 20 times, and it blew me over. On so I thought it started to get walking again. That's why I've done this one again, look at it, I've done. Turn me bald. But it's just bugging me off. So now it looks like I've got to walk to the end of here, turn left and then head down the main road into Tideswell. 